Hi guys, so I'm here with a really quick collective haul and this is all stuff that I've purchased throughout the entire summer and I've been wanting to put this haul up but I just haven't had time um, with everything that was going on over the summer. So this is pretty much a haul from June all the way to September. So the first items that I'm going to be starting with is actually from a website called OSAP and this is the newest stuff that I have to show you guys. Um, it's an online company and the shipping is free as long as you spend $50. The clothes are really inexpensive. Um, so this would have been really good for back to school had I been able to put the video up earlier. But the clothes are very inexpensive so you can get a lot for a little bit of money. So this shirt right here is just really plain in the front and then in the back it has this really cute bow. And I believe that this shirt was, I believe like $9.80. And I got that one in a small because I noticed that it looked just a little big on the model. So the small, or actually this is an extra small. So the extra small fits perfectly and it just drapes off of the body. The next shirt that I got from OSAP is going to be this striped bat wing blouse. And um, I really just like the colors of this blouse. Everything that I'm showing you guys is gonna be like jewel tone. So these colors that are in this blouse are some of my favorite colors, especially colors that I like to wear during the fall. So um, you can also pair this blouse with a lot of different things. It's kind of a sheer material, so you can either just wear a bra or a bralette under it. And then the next two blouses that I got are actually like my favorite and I'm gonna wind up ordering more because these blouses, one, they're only $7.80, but you can do so much with a plain shirt. So this is just a plain kind of like uh, satiny shirt and there's no, um, there's really like no great detail on it, but it does have a pleat going down the center right here and they have it in, I think yellow and also maybe like a fuchsia color. I think there might be five colors. So I opted for obviously the two jewel tone colors because you know when we're going into fall I like to wear a lot of jewel tones. I may have already said that. But I got these two blouses in a small. The blouse fits really well and like I said it, it, it has the potential to go with a lot of different things. So those are the items that I got from OSAP. And I also ordered a pair of polka dot stockings since fall and winter is coming. I love to wear stockings during the fall and winter. They were only like one or two dollars. So then I had a few items from the Zara sale that I shopped this summer. But there were, there were a few items that I forgot to show you guys. So this is one of them. And this is just a flutter blouse. It's a really loose flowing tank top. And I believe now this tank top actually was marked down to, I think, $4.50, something like that. I paid, I want to say, like $19. So now that blouse is actually cheaper if you have a Zara near you. And I also got these shorts. These are Bermuda shorts. And these were $19.90, I believe. They didn't have them in an extra small, so I just went on ahead and got the small. Um, because I really wanted them, but I really like the fabric and I also like the way that they fit and uh, They are like a seafoam green color a very nice seafoam green color So the next shirt that I got they had a huge pile of t-shirts that were like $15 So I wound up getting this t-shirt. It's kind of a weird shirt because one it's short It's not short enough to call it a crop top and then like it comes together at this weird point at the neck so Anyhow, this shirt is sheer and it's an abstract floral print and it's just got a lot of different things going on with it that I just really liked and I also really like the color. So that was my last item from the Zara sale. There was also a sale at New York and Company where I was able to pick up this watercolor blazer on sale and I also had a coupon. So this is how the blazer basically looks and I believe this blazer is designed to look kind of like a shawl in the front. Like it comes to a point right here and it gives the blazers a really nice look. 
The material is really nice, like it's not a stiff blazer, but it's also not a blazer that doesn't have structure. So that's the really good thing about this piece. Um, it's a piece that I think that I'll probably have in my collection for a really long time. It has all beautiful jewel tone colors, colors that you can do anything with. So I was really happy to be able to pick this blazer up and I got this blazer in an extra small. I want to say that this blazer was like 40 something dollars and then after the coupon I wound up paying 25 something like that. And the other piece that I got from New York and Company was from the Eva Mendez collection. It's like a satin material. Um, it has really pretty gold buttons and it's a halter top. It's open in the back. And that's pretty much the, you know, the gist of this blouse, but I just really like the material. And I think that this blouse was on sale for like, gosh, I want to say like $19. And then I used the coupon and it came down to like $12 or $15, something like that. So this piece I've been wanting to show you guys all summer. You've already seen it, but I still wanted to include it in my haul to give you guys a quick review as well as tell you right now this dress has been marked down so when I got the dress I used the coupon and I paid like $40 for it and I think now it's actually marked down to $38 and you can use a 15% off coupon so this dress um, is a really beautiful maxi dress it's supposed to look like the Oscar de la Renta gown that came out earlier this year and um, it is navy and a cream color. What I wanted to tell you about this dress is that it has very precise measurements. So when I bought the dress at the beginning of the summer, like it was borderline for me. I got it in an extra small. It was borderline for me because it has an empire waist. So right up here where my sternum was is where this dress winds up crossing over. And it was like literally, it fit, but it wasn't comfortable. Now I wound up losing some weight over the summer, so I think that it's probably going to fit just right right now. But if you do get this dress, I would say order a size up. You may have to get it altered if it's not, you know, exact once you do order a size up. But I don't think you want to be in a position where if you wind up like gaining just like a few pounds, then you wind up not being able to wear a great dress like this. Okay, so the next items that I have from Lulu's to show you guys are these t-strapped heels and I bet you guys thought that I didn't buy shoes from anywhere else other than just fab and shoe dazzle but they had this shoe and this is like a um gosh what is it called a Valentino inspired heel so this heel has been everywhere like for the last couple of years in all these different colors and um when Lulu's had them and I was able to get them with a coupon I wound up getting like every color I could get. So this is the ivory. The shoe is made by Wild Diva Lounge. It's called Adora and it comes in two different styles. So I believe this one is the 55 strap and um, this one is just like a smooth heel. And then the other one that I got that's also in the 55 is uh, black with kind of like a nude outline and these shoes fit true to size. I got mine in a size 8. And the heel is not too high. I actually took two pairs of those shoes to New York and I did quite a bit of walking when I was in Manhattan wearing them and they were they stayed comfortable. So then they also have the same shoes but these are 45 and these are kind of like a faux suede material. So this one is all black but it has the gun metal or the dark gray, you know, um, rhinestones or rivets whatever you want to call them and so this one if you notice the difference between this one and the other one is that this one has three straps and this one has two and I think I actually prefer the one with the two straps and then I also got the same shoe and all nude or I guess you can call this like all tan and this is the one that I wound up taking to New York so that's how that heel looks. Like I said, very comfortable. Um, they are priced really well. The heels are $30, $35, I want to say, and you can use 15% off on them. So that's basically what I did. And I have just a few items from Forever 21. Um, this is kind of like a shawl blazer with a belt. And this is from a line um, that 
at the time that I bought the blazer, it was a new line called Contemporary, Forever 21 Contemporary. And it seemed like out of all the clothes that were in that section, it, it seemed like the clothes were of a higher quality material than what they usually you know, sell at Forever 21. And so the price point was a little bit higher. So this one was $27.80. And um, it's a really thick material for what you would get from there. And it has a lining on the inside. And it's very similar to the other blazer that I showed you where it comes to a point down here. So that's why it's kind of like a shawl blazer to be these blue trousers. And um, I want I want to say like I thought they were going to be more like high-waisted trousers. Well, they went down to an extra small, but the extra small is kind of big on me. So if I want to wear them as um, high-waisted pants, I will have to get them tailored and taken in some in the waist. That's what I wanted to do with them. But they have two buttons here on the side and they're tapered and they're actually really great pants like if they had these in other colors i would have bought a black and even a white or even a tan so that was uh forever 21 contemporary i know you guys have seen this already this is a really cool yellow knitted sweater i don't think they have the yellow one anymore but now they have like a dark brown like a more fall kind of color so um this is a knitted sweater the holes are pretty big so you have to like wear something underneath. I just wear like a bandeau because you can see through. I also got these floral pants. You guys know I love anything floral print and I absolutely love the floral print pants, pants that they have at H&M. So these are like a floral jungle print and I like all of the colors that are in these pants. And summer is almost over, but I cannot wait until next year because I'm going to be wearing these pants again. So I also have these pants and I wanted to talk to you guys about these pants really fast. These are the disco pants that I wore in the lookbook that I did at the beginning of the summer. And I found these pants on the clearance rack for $15 and then I used the coupon and I got them for even cheaper. But they have the same pants at American Apparel and they're $90. And I've seen them at other places, like other stores, but um, they aren't as good of quality. So I think that these pants are actually as close as you're gonna get to the quality of the ones at American Apparel. If they come back out with these pants at H&M, I would say grab them if you're looking for a pair of pants like this. But these aren't leggings. They're like a really high shine, stretchy but tight fabric there these pants are very tight and it's they're high-waisted pants so they're supposed to go all the way up anytime um camisoles come out i try to buy them because i can use these over and over we have so many different outfits and these are satin camisole i got them in two colors these are two colors that are perfect for fall I really love this color right here. This is one of the blouses that I took to New York. And um, I thought that it really went very well with this lipstick also. But these two camisoles were, I think they were priced really good too. Um, it was actually really surprising since they were satin. But these two camisoles were priced around, I wanna say under $15. So that is kind of like my end of summer going into fall haul. I will have another haul coming up. Um, hopefully the Alta Zara for Target. Hopefully I'll be able to get some stuff. And um, then like another fall haul later. So anyway guys, hope that you're having a great Monday. And I had a hair disaster today, um, which is why I'm filming this video so late and it's getting dark, but I had like this crazy hair disaster and um, I, I was thinking about writing about it, but I think I'm going to vlog instead. So if you want to know what happened with my hair, then check out my vlog and I will see you guys later.